Twitch has done it again. I've made so many videos about Twitch and Twitch's decisions at this point that you, you'd think that you wouldn't be able to be surprised anymore. But Twitch manages to do it. So a couple days ago, Twitch, out of the blue, decided that they wanted to make a change to their platform, a little policy change. And this time it wasn't affecting the pay of streamers and what kind of cut they got. No, this was affecting the actual policy itself. And what they decided to do, in their infinite wisdom, they decided to update their sexually explicit. Shut up! they decided to update their sexually explicit image policies. And basically, to give you the cliff notes, they decided to change it so that if you are putting art out there that is considered artistic and not and not put on the platform for the reason of being sexual, but happens to depict nudity in an artistic way, then they would allow it on the platform. An interesting change. It caught a lot of people off guard because they couldn't really figure out where this came from. And this led people to wonder, how, how, this, how is this going to work? How is this going to work on this platform? What's going to happen? It lasted 24 hours. Because, my dear friends, as you can imagine, or if you can't imagine, this policy that Twitch decided to implement on their platform was abused to high heaven, to a degree that was almost impressive because the artwork that was put onto that category when it comes to explicit images it was not in an artistic way no 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 it, it was purely purely sexual and twitch which is known for being very slow when it comes to talking to its community somehow managed to take action within 24 hours as this policy was quickly undone and then everything put back to the way it was Though the damage at that point was already done. What makes it worse is that the way that this entire situation was handled was not handled in a really good way at all. It was actually abysmal the way that Twitch managed to deal with the situation. The reason why is because once they put this policy out there, very quickly it was abused. And Twitch's response to it being abused was to ban every single account that was abusing the system. However, some accounts that were banned pointed out the fact that they weren't abusing the policy. This was the policy that Twitch put on their platform. The thing is, though, is that it's very vague. What constitutes art? What constitutes being purely sexual? It is a very fine line that people can't really find. And that's what happens when you deal with art like this. So all in all, from the policy, to them implementing the policy, to the way that they handled the 2012 end of the world scenario that happened on their platform, every way to Sunday, this entire policy was handled abysmally. We all got to point our fingers, we all got to laugh at Twitch, again, and that was that. But I'd like to talk a little bit more about it because it's, it's so baffling. What makes it especially baffling that of all the platforms out there that decided to put a policy like this on their platform, it was Twitch. Twitch. Of, of all platforms. Twitch, which is, no, which is notoriously known for being so inconsistent with their policies, but at the same time so strict. Twitch, which allows hot tub streamers on their platform, which... Again, well, bear with me before you start yelling. No, there's no nudity with those streams, but it does bring up the problem that I think was brought up again when they for some reason made this policy, and that's what constitutes sexual content and what constitutes just artistic explicit content. It's a very fine line which Twitch does not know how to tow, and Twitch the community itself, is still in a heated debate over which is right and what's allowed on the platform and how Twitch is supposed to handle these things. But putting hot tub streamers off to the side, Twitch, for the most part, is pretty strict when it comes to their nudity policy. While inconsistent, they are strict about it. Nipples are a big no-no on Twitch, to the point that if you are a man and your nipples are showed on the platform, then that could potentially result in a ban, depending on the context of which it was showed. But Twitch is never really good about enforcing these rules because, again, that line is very, very hard to find, which makes them implementing this art rule so much more confusing, because the way they worded it out in their policy change was that nudity was allowed if it was in an artistic format. So if you just put naked pictures on the internet or on the Twitch uh, platform, that would not be allowed, but if it was an artistic drawing and it was put in an artistic way, then that would be allowed. The thing is though is that that, <laughs> that policy was so quickly abused and to such a degree that everything was undid within one day. One day. That's impressive. At the end of the day, what's done is done, but it, it baffles me because Twitch, there was no reason for this to ever be implemented. There was no reason for this change to ever happen. Not only because it would have been abused so easily, but also because Twitch just apparently doesn't know their own audience. They don't know who uses Twitch. You got some good people on Twitch, don't get me wrong, but you also have to realize that you have some really bad rotten apples on Twitch. Bear in mind, these are the same users that will put pixel art 
of nudity in the chats that is done to such a degree, to such accuracy, that it almost looks realistic. These are also the same people that like to swat people when they stream. So I don't really understand how Twitch could ever think that this is a good thing. Now from what I've seen, the reason that Twitch implemented this policy change was because there were artists on Twitch that said that it was too strict when it comes to what kind of art can be on the platform. And I can understand why that would be a very stressful and annoying thing to deal with. But at the end of the day, and something that I think people don't really realize is that that's not what Twitch is. Twitch at its core is a streaming service for games. And yes, you have some in real life kind of streams and you have like game show kind of streams, but at its core, it is a gaming streaming service. Twitch is not the end all be all when it comes to streaming. There are other options out there. There's YouTube, which has started to become a real powerhouse when it comes to streaming. There's Kick, which <laughs> it's Kick. So when it comes to streaming, there's other options out there when it comes to making art. And yes, their policies will probably be just as strict as Twitch, if not more so. But at the end of the day, Twitch is not a streaming service for art. Art is welcome. It's always welcome on Twitch, but not the explicit kind where there could be nudity. And I think that's just that's just the way it has to be because it's the audience of Twitch. It can be so easily abused. As bad as the situation was, I feel like it could have been a lot worse. And to a degree, it could probably still get a lot worse. Because something that I think people have started to realize is that this is not just a platform thing, it's an advertiser thing. One of the reasons why people think Twitch changed its policy so quickly is because advertisers started to get involved. Usually Twitch would never respond in 24 hours, it's just not in their nature. But when the money starts to get threatened, and the cash stops flowing, when that train starts to shake, then action has to be done. Twitch has had a lot of controversy, but most of that controversy has come from individual creators and usually not the platform itself. Yes, they've made controversial decisions, but nothing that would affect advertisers. Most of those decisions usually are platform creator based or platform viewer based. And when it comes to controversies with creators, that can be easily dealt with and easily fixed. However, this policy change that they did to their platform was not so easily fixed as it was a platform-wide disaster. Now, as you can guess, advertisers and nudity is kind of a big no-no. It's, it's like oil and water. It doesn't mix. So as an advertiser, I can imagine being a little bit panicked when I see this, this, this platform where I put all my ads and then I start to see boobies and then I'm like, hmm, I don't know about this one, champ. I think I'm gonna take those away. And then Twitch starts to freak out like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm just kidding. Let's run it back a little bit. And then just like that, it never happened. But it did happen. And we all watched it. From beginning, middle to end, we watched them as they implemented this policy, we watched as it crashed and burned, and we watched as they tried to erase it. But at the end of the day, what happened happened, and there's no way that they can make us forget any of that, and this is probably gonna haunt them for quite a while. Now we don't know how the advertiser Twitch relationship is right now. We don't know if anybody left. We don't know if everybody stayed. We just don't know. Maybe nothing happened at all. But I can guarantee you that this is one of the worst, one of the worst decisions that Twitch has ever made, and that is quite a fence to leap. Will there be long-lasting causes from this decision? We don't know. Right now we're just gonna have to wait and see, and who knows, maybe nothing happened. But I can guarantee you one thing. Twitch will always be remembered for this terrible, terrible decision. But they can just add that to their list. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, if indeed you still are. My name is Broxter, and I bid you all adieu.